uh, talking about things that are happening as of uh, yesterday going into today and what to look forward to. So let's uh, show some screen action here. All right, so uh, this is uh, this is a Star Ladder I League Star Series. So of course we've been talking, we've been hyping this up quite a bit. You know, I, I already talked about this actually a fair amount on my podcast yesterday, so I don't want to necessarily do too much here today. But just simply put, this did kick off today. Uh, the qualifiers, of course, they had the initial pre-qualifiers. And then they even had a another additional qualifier because Virtus Pro actually dropped out of the event uh, as of yesterday, I believe. So that's a little unfortunate to hear, you know. Uh, obviously one of the greater teams in the European and CIS region, but... In the end, you know, whether it's, uh, I, I don't know what the reasons are. I mean, there's a lot of events going on, though. They've been traveling a lot, so I wouldn't be surprised if it has to do with that simply. So, uh, they're not playing in it. Vega Squadron defeated Friends, though, to actually earn their spot. Friends actually won the first game. Yeah, we were looking at that yesterday, but then Vega Squadron came back. Look at that, using Earth Spirit all three games. How about that? So, Vega Squadron in the hands of a good Earth Spirit player, apparently. And, uh, yeah, you always got to be careful whenever you're going up against a, a good Earth Spirit player. So... Uh, that's, uh, that's the final team to join, and then we have the matches. Currently kick it off with the first one. Alliance versus Horde is actually, it just finished up, actually. Let me refresh this page. It should be updated. Yeah, there we go. So, Alliance did defeat Horde two games to nothing. It's kind of funny that they ended up matching up to kick it all off. Obviously, kind of brother teams, or however you want to label it, but... Uh, Team Liquid is set to play Cloud9 right now. There's a lot of hype around this new Team Liquid team. They just picked up GH... Uh, as their new fifth, they have a lot of high MMR players. You know, this is a team with a lot of potential, but we haven't really seen it just yet as far as uh, the, the opportunity for them. So this event right here, only the top two teams advance on to the main event, that being the Lana course. I believe it takes place in March, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, okay, this is just for the qualifier. Let's see the main event. Uh, February. Wow, it's later February. Okay, so it's actually coming up pretty quickly right here. Uh, the DAC is the early April, that's right. So this one's later later February here. All right. Uh, anyways, Liquid versus Cloud9 and then Horde versus Cloud9 will shape up today. And then obviously much more to come throughout this uh, next week, uh, week and a half or so. So yeah, that's the European region. Really excited for that. Again, we talked a lot about it on the podcast here today. So if you're curious about my predictions and everything, you can go check that out, which is currently on YouTube now. The Breakdown Podcast, episode number three. Uh, the American region also kicks off tonight, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it does kick off tonight. And now the fun thing about the American region, I'm actually going to be casting the American region. Woo! Uh, I'm going to be casting the American region on part of the night. I'm actually doing the 25th, which is tomorrow, uh, being Wednesday. And then I also do the 28th, 29th, and the 30th. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday as well. So I'm, I'm, this is actually, I haven't actually looked at the matchups yet because they, they literally just posted this, I believe even just more, because even as of yesterday, they weren't actually up. So, uh, today they kicks off, you got DC versus MP. That's actually one of the bigger matches. Only one team from the American region makes it. Obviously DC is the favorite and NP another one up there. So that, that's, that's a very important match to kick off later tonight uh, in about three and a half hours from now. Uh, but then, uh, Tomorrow, the matches that I get to cover, apparently, NP versus Dialcom. That should be fun. Dialcom, of course, team with a couple of uh, Valve official band players, Etoc and Van. But, you know, this not being a Valve official event, they are able to participate in it. And a, a, a potentially good team. So don't don't think that MP easily has it there. But they're, they're the favorites. You got Complexity versus Onyx. That should be a good one. I gotta, I'm excited to cast that one. And then even Infamous versus Team Freedom. I've actually casted them before in a Pro Dota Cup uh, that happened a little bit ago in the American region. Uh, these two teams playing together. And then, um, what do I do? The 28th, and then a Complexity versus DC. Ooh, yeah, I get the Complexity versus DC series. That's going to be a good one. That's going to be fun. Uh, you got some South American action. You got Team Freedom versus .com. 29th, a couple more Complexity games, and then DC versus Onyx. Another one that should be a lot of fun. Uh, fairly important, depending how good Onyx turns out to be with their new roster and everything. Um... And then the 30th is all about NP, or at least a couple of NP matches. And then Duop Onyx thrown in there as well. Okay, so overall, you know, it looks like I get to cover every team, right? There's not a team that I don't get the chance to cast in those four days. Yeah, no, I get, definitely get to cast everyone uh, between all four days right there. So that that that's fun to see, and I, I, I genuinely am so excited for this event. Again, big shout-out to BTS for this opportunity, and I can't wait uh, to do that. So that's the American region. And then the Southeast Asian region actually... They're wrapping up. Yeah, they only have one more day. Literally tonight is the final night, and it's coming down to Team Faceless and TNC Pro Team. Wow. So Team Faceless, they're grinding. If my guess is Team Faceless literally has to go 6-0 tonight 
to earn the spot or else it's going to be TNC. And obviously one of the matches include Faceless versus TNC. So this middle match is going to be the absolutely important one right here. That is interesting that it's coming down to the wire, but that's always fun to see, of course, that, uh, you know, we have that here. So, again, only one team. It's either going to be a TNC or Team Faceless. Uh, Warriors Gaming going to come up just short, it looks like, right there. So, that's the Star Ladder Series, and that is what is taking place later today. Is there anything else that's currently going on that's worth mentioning? Yeah, the Pro Zota European Cup continuing. We'll take a quick glance at that. Uh, I was casting, actually, a decent amount of this event. Pro Dota, of course, did defeat Evil Corporation. We actually casted that match. Sanguine Sharks versus Rebels. Okay, it is happening today, it looks like. Uh, so we'll find out the the finals opponent. And then down here, you got some progress. A little bit of progress being made. So I'm going to keep an eye on this event, too, and see how it shapes up throughout the rest of this week. Of course, Evil Corporation, they're a team that I'm definitely keeping an eye on. A full former Han team. Uh, you're looking at Knox, Book, Boxy, Onmi, and Chaoli as their five-man roster. And then Pro Dota, on the other hand, who is in the finals, Insania. Of course, a former Han player, one that I know very well, and I'm looking forward to seeing how he continues to do. He's been doing he's been doing very well, not surprisingly. And they're in the winter finals again. I saw that I casted this Evil Corporation Pro Dota match actually over the weekend. So, uh, who is on TNC? Uh, TNC. I can go back to it real quickly. Uh, TNC. I mean, it's a roster that was at uh, the WC WESG, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, Raven, Cuckoo, Sam H, Tim's, and Ryor. Hopefully I pronounced those all right, or at least uh, to the best of my ability. So that's the TNC team right there. That is uh, pretty much it, though. Uh, yeah, not much else uh, going on. The Star Ladder is really kind of taking uh, taking the attention right now. And then, of course, shortly after, the DAC qualifiers, as we've mentioned, take place. So anyways, that, that's the daily recap, though, for today. What is January 24th, 2017? So hopefully you guys enjoyed that and look forward to uh, seeing you on the next Daily Recap. And also my stream in general, you can check me out at twitch.tv slash breakcpk. Of course, all my social media of Twitter and Facebook. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this and hopefully it was informational. Until next time, guys.